Rage of the Abyss is the next core booster set for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Well, it's going to go to OCG first in July. But yeah, after Infinite Forbidden, we're getting this. You want to know why I'm raging? Because apparently you need like 10 Ultra Balls to catch a level 17 Gibble in the Wayward Cave. Because I'm playing back through Pokemon Platinum. I'm ready to get my butt chewed out by Cynthia again. Woo! If you've ever been born a masochist, hey, you'll be a masochist after playing that. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Still a really good game, though. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off that April Fool's like and subscribe button. Also, be sure that you're hitting that ding dong notification bell down below so you can be part of the A gang, the A squad, the whatever you want to be called now that anybody will say to get you to subscribe to their channel because we're climbing up the 1400 ladder. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Hope you had a fantastic Easter. And uh, if you're playing any pranks on people, uh, be sure to let them know to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. But. Moving on to today's news, this is not no April Fool's prank, ladies and gentlemen. Rage of the Abyss is the next core booster set that will be out after Infinite Forbidden. So we get Infinite Forbidden the seventh month of the year. So this will probably be like roughly our October set, maybe September, something like that. Now that Konami's actually kind of spacing out sets now like every couple months instead of like every couple weeks or once a month getting a new piece of product. I'm so glad that they finally started spacing that out because it, it just it gives product more time to breathe. But what could we see in this kind of set? Now, if you remember back when we talked about Infinite Forbidden, I said, hey, we might get some Exodia support. Maybe we get retrains of Exodia. And what did we get? We got an Exodia fusion monster that looks like a fake card that you find at a flea market with like the card art. I actually think you can find card art that looks like one of the fake cards when compared to the fusion. But anyway, I digress. What could we see in Rage of the Abyss? We could see Abyss Actors, right? I personally wouldn't want to see a Table 500 deck for the three people I'm probably going to make mad in my comments section saying that Abyss Actors is a bad deck. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, we could see Abyss Actors get support. I don't know anything about Abyss Actors. I'm not going to sit here and make a Yu-Gi-Oh! Word salad and put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. Act like I know what I'm talking about by talking about skill trees and all these other things and just not actually be saying anything for 10 minutes, unlike some other people I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> but I don't know what the deck does. Maybe it would be cool to give it support. I don't really know what the deck needs. So I guess we could see Abyss Actor support in some form or fashion since it is called Rage of the Abyss. Now, what puts a chub in my pants is Mermel, ladies and gentlemen. We have not seen Mermel support in a hot minute. We haven't seen Mermel be good. I would argue since like 2014-ish, somewhere around that ballpark, because essentially what Mermel has become now is you sit on a, what is it, Megalo, whatever the level seven is. I can't remember the name right now of it. It's been so long. Um, and then you equip it with the uh, Mermel Abyss, whatever, equip spell that can negate spell effects. And essentially, you have like a 2400 beat stick uh, that just negates spells. It's like a like an Aturia beast. Um, and then, of course, we have like the rank sevens, like Abyss Gaios and things like that. Um, but they need more, right? Like, that's not enough. You know, back in the day, having something like um, Mermel uh, Abyss, Atlantean... Abyss Sphere, whatever the level 2, Heavy Infantry, I think is what it was, to get your combo lines going. And then they got Abyss, or Mermel Abyss Nethabyss, or whatever it was called. That was also a really good combo starter, if I can quit hitting my microphone. Um, but I feel like that they just need to be modernized. You know, back when they first came out, they were absolutely insane being able to have access to something like Monoglacia that they do still have access to. But it's not as viable now as it was back in the day where, you know, you could reliably get off a of Mono Glacia and rip two cards out of the opponent's hand. Or like what a player did at YCS Miami years ago to my dad and cheated him and he didn't know till after the fact and looped multiple Mono Glacias in order to rip his whole hand apart. You can't do that. Mono Glacia is a hard once per turn. Back in a time where hard once per turns really weren't a huge thing back then. But Mono Glacia is still an absolutely insane card being able to rip two cards out of the opponent's hand. Could we see some support for that and have Mermels actually become like a tier one deck again? I mean, they don't have anything hit on the ban list as far as I know. So it makes you wonder, like, could we see, you know, new support come to them, whether it's a field spell or, you know, a new trap card? You know, they have the Abyss trap that acts like a Call of the Haunted or Special Summons from deck or something. You know, uh, 
these things I'm mentioning were good back like in 2012, right? Over a decade ago, and even in a Dragon Ruler format a little bit. But now they, they need retrains, right? Like we need new Mermel, we need new Abyss, Mermel Atlantean cards to really kind of get the ball rolling and see what this deck can do. Um, do keep in mind that depending on what kind of TCG exclusive stuff we get, you know, it could help out the uh, Vito Dark Souls archetype, or maybe we get more stuff to support Fiendsmiths. And that's really what I'm interested about with this being the set after Infinite Forbidden. Could we see more support cards for stuff that came out in Infinite Forbidden? You know, could we see more Fiendsmith cards? Could we see more Exodia cards? Could we see more Millennium cards? Like, there's a whole lot of things that could be in this set that could just absolutely blow everything out of the water. I mean, granted, every core set has to have some kind of power creep unless it's just like a garbage set, right? But I think primarily what they're going to focus on, at least just by the name Abyss, I'm thinking it's going to be water. You know, that seems to be the route that Konami's going. You know, everyone's saying, oh, it's the year of the fire. But what if they're going like fire, Fire King, Snake Eyes, whatever. Then Rage of the Abyss, Abyss, Abyss Actors, Mermels, Atlanteans, whatever. Water, or even like Yumi or Legendary Fisherman support, whatever. Water. Then they move to like Earth or Wind or whatever the case may be. And then they, you know, move on to the next thing. So what if this whole year is just like a year of elements? I could very easily see that being the case. Um, now, with that being said, do I want to see feature matches where it's like, you know, Snake Eye Fire King against uh, Snake Eye Water? Like... No, I, I don't think so. But it would be interesting to see what comes out of this. What if, and what if, they give us not only like a different legendary ocean or Yumi field spell, like what if what if maybe they did something like that, but like a continuous spell or something like to add on with the other stuff that they have. But then what if they did like a retrain of like Ocean Dragon Lord Neo Dalius, where like it's actually good. Like, what if they take, like, the old water structure deck and make stuff that's, like, actually good? Like, that that's really what I'm excited for here. Of course, I would love to see retrains of, like, Exodia stuff just to add on from Infinite Forbidden because I think the Exodia stuff's just kind of garbage. The Millennium cards themselves are really good as a sub-engine, but the, the Exodia cards are trash. You're playing five fucking bricks in your deck. Like, you're, you're not going to be getting past table 499. I'm sorry. You'll get past table 500, but not 499. But besides that, though... Unless they're going to be giving us a fresh archetype, which I'm sure that they will because it's the next core set after Infinite Forbidden. I don't really know what else they could do with water. You know, we got the legendary duelist, Duels of the Deep side set that was basically terrible besides droplets at the time. Are they going to add on to that stuff? Or are we going to somehow see like a new fresh water archetype that works with what we have now? I really wouldn't mind having like generically good water support that can be played in like abyss act or mermail whatever if you're not able to give these decks like new fresh support at least make generically good water support that can be played in mermail abyss actors or even the the kairu shin monster that's like a floodgate if you've got legendary ocean whatever on the field that came out in um legendary duels duels of the deep duels of the abyss whatever it was duels of the deep with mako tsunami give mako tsunami support or give them generic water support that can be played in that deck i think we'll see a card like kairu shin which is a floodgate i just don't remember what it does off the top of my head be much better than what it is right now but I'm excited. I mean, it, we're definitely going to be getting it after Nationals, so it's going to be a bit of a slow time. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, like, how good the set sells, um, depending on when they drop it. I mean, I imagine it's going to be, like, our between September to November set, maybe October. But we're also getting Infinite Forbidden right before Nationals, so who knows what's going to happen. And by the time that we even get Rage of the Abyss, we're going to have another, another ban list, even though we're still waiting on a current ban list that... I'm starting to have fears that it's not going to be that great of a list. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about Rage of the Abyss. What do you want to see? Do you want to see, I don't know, Meku Tsunami riding a giant fish? Do you want to see Fishboard Blaster 2.0? That'd be kind of cool. What if they put Fishboard Blaster as a quarter century secret rare in this set with an errata? That'd be sexy. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.